plant reproduction by cutting at Bordine Nursery. The cone-shaped hopper is filled with potting soil. The patented Ellie Pot machine uses a vacuum to put the soil in a tube, then wraps it in biodegradable paper. With the help of a little heat, the paper holds the soil in place. The sausage-like tube is then cut into small cylinders, called Ellie Pots. The reusable tray holds 72 and the machine can make about 9,000 an hour. We have to start making them before Christmas to keep up with the high spring demand. A conveyor belt takes the tray through a water tunnel. Then it is off to the double-decker sticking line. The top level automatically advances the trays to where the unrooted cuttings will be stuck. Cuttings are shipped in from all over the globe and are usually about one inch in length each. The sorted bags are opened and the individual cuttings are stuck one cutting at a time. Ellie pots are ideal for quick root development. The completed tray goes on the lower conveyor and the process starts again. Another quick watering before heading out to the rooting greenhouse. The rolling benches allow one person to move 4,320 plugs at a time. Optimal growing conditions let the cuttings root and grow. Tiny roots appear after just one week. A flat that was just stuck compared to one that is ready for transplant. Transplanting to the finished container is all done by hand. The plastic trays are sterilized in the industrial washer so they can be reused and the process starts again. Cutting to plug.